Oh, it's like a, I feel like a kid at Christmas time. Here we go. So here's our box. We've got our mini educator. Some of you might have the micro educator, which is just a smaller version. Uh, here we go. Open up the box. Here's what we get. Um, we have got our transmitter and our receiver, our charger, our lanyard for our transmitter, and um, there's some extra pieces right in here, um, which are changing long hair, short hair, things like that. I'll take care of you guys, but if, I'll show you what we need to do, and if we change things, I'll let you know what we changed. All right, so I pull it out, pop that off. We're going to put our little uh, thingy here on here on our transmitter. Pull this out. we got our collar. I get the quick release bungee snap collars, which are right here, which are really nice to use so you don't have to fight this all the time. Once you get this set on them at the size you want. Say so we want to set it right here. We'll cut off our extra part, put it under there, and then from there on out, all you're going to have to do is snap, stretch, because there's this bungee on here. Snap, stretch, put it on the dog's neck, and click it back on. Simple. All right. Charging wise, this is a half mile range, it's waterproof. Um, they have waterproof ports. Everything's self-contained. You don't have to worry about batteries, find, you know, any of that stuff. If there's an issue, you're going to call your the company or call me. Let me know. I'll help you. I'll walk you through it. But the company likes it when you call them. The back of your transmitter, remote, whatever you want to call it, waterproof port back there, and that's going to be for a charging spot. So let's pull out the charger here. Here's our charger. Two ports. Port plug one port in the back. All right, on this little doohickey for our receiver, we've got another charging port right back there, waterproof port. So close that when you're out doing stuff, but otherwise, open it up, plug the other piece in. Now you're both plugged in, plug it into the wall, and it'll charge right up. Charging should last three, four days. Um, remember, don't leave this on your dog all the time. You're putting it on in a form of communication. So when you're going to be speaking with him, put it on. When you're not, take it off. When he's in his crate alone, take it off. No reason to have it on him. A lot of times at night, there's no reason to have it on him. All right? This has to be snug when it's put on the dog. Otherwise, it's going to bounce around and cause bed sores. People say it looks like burn marks, or they think they burnt the dog. It's not going to burn the dog, but it's bouncing and it's causing bed sores. All right, turning it off and on. Cool. So anyway, here's the remote. Got a few little buttons on it. Right now, we're going to worry about this little red dot. A little red dot right there. Not that red button, but the little red dot. Okay. We're going to look over here and see that this one also has a little red dot and a face screen. There's going to be a light that comes on and off when you turn this off and on. So we do need to be able to see that. If you're turning it like this and trying to do it, you're never going to know. Take the red dot, match it up, and a green light flips on. That turns this unit on. To turn this unit off, take that again, red dot to red dot, a little red light, and it goes off. All right, I'm gonna turn this one back on. Red dot, green light, cool. Now that piece is on. Now we need to turn this one on. In the very back, if you look, it says right in the center, it's got a big on, off, and light. That button right there with the L is the on, off, light button. You're gonna hold that button down for two to three seconds, and this is gonna turn on. But I suggest you flip it over here Hold that down for two to three seconds, and there it goes. It's on. We are going to turn this unit off the exact same way. I'm going to hold that button down for two to three seconds, and that shuts off. Right on. All right, we're going to turn this one back on. We know this one's on because we can see the green light down there blinking on it. Okay, and this one's on. 
I love to test it to make sure it's on for on first and then I'm gonna hit my uh, T button right here and that's our vibration button so before I put it on a dog I like to know that it's on I I touch the vibration button all right so that same on off light switch back here that turns this unit off and on also says light and that light if you tap this button once when this is on and that's on you tap this one time you get a strobe light tap it one more time you have a solid light tap it one more time and it's off and that is that same on off light button got it all right so we're going to tap it there's a strobe dee -dee 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 -dee. tap it one more time there's a solid tap it one more time and it's off just gives you something to see at night sometimes it helps for yeah, you see them glowing around out there. All right. Button else, other buttons on here. Um, there's one on the back that says MNC, and that is for monoton mono and continuous. Um, we may go over that here in a bit, but for the most part, what I want to see on the screen is where it says MNC. That's how I like it myself. This up here adjusts the stimulation level from a zero to a 100. Um, for me, I always keep it at a zero, and uh, I can we'll talk more about why I do that uh, another time. All right, so the functions else on this. We have, when holding it in your right hand, I'm right-handed. I've got uh, three buttons that I know where they're at. I'm only going to really use two of them. Uh, my one over here with the all one all by itself is the vibration button. It's putting out a vibration. I do a lot of tap taps. All right, the red one over here is going to be a stimulation. Okay, we've got to have it at least above a zero. So I hit the red one and hold it. There's something coming out of it continuously. This black button above it, I really don't use. It's just the mono, the one pulse. If I hit it and hold it, all it did was give one little click, right? Um, the way we're going to use this is a little bit different. So really, all I care about for, for us is the thumb button and the red button, right? The thumb button and the middle finger button. The next part again, what we're gonna worry about will be up here, or not worry about, but what we're gonna we're gonna work with is up here. Okay, so that's the functions of how it turns off on and what these buttons are. Um, the vibration can't be adjusted up or down, it's always gonna be the same. The stimulation can be adjusted, and that's what we'll do. All right, so we'll start it. And boop, boop. We're going to do a lot of tapping, and uh, times we're going to hold that button down, so that is exactly why I'm not going to use this one when I'm teaching. All right, um, that is about the main function of how it turns off and on and uh, how it works a little bit, and um, we'll go over more. Talk to you later.